so I switched to the white fluffy mic because it reminds me of snow. Snow, snow, hey, self, how's it going? Aw, oh, got here as fast as you could. Well, thank you. Not too shabby. Good to see you. skip a day, I feel like out of practice somehow. But, oh, thank you, Granite. Hello. Also, oh, hi, Vanessa. Thank you so much. I am in a red mood today. Uh, what do you think of the light? So, I'm trying out the red, see it, the red colored light that my black cat kept turning on on the last live but I have it on a low setting because it kind of blinds me to to reading the chat hello 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 welcome welcome back um also how's the music I hope it's at a good volume that it's not overwhelming but that you can still hear the what is it today I think it's, yeah, 417 hertz music for relaxation and feelings of love and peace and comfort. Hello, Rocky. What's going on? Hey, Allison. Привет. Меня зовут Стасия. Не Настя, а Стасия. Привет. Рада вас видеть опять. So, what shall we begin with today? I had some things I wanted to share with you. I thought we would do some brushing, some uh, countdown, some triggers. I found this when I was grabbing the mic cover. This was from an angel costume that I had. Makes the mic a little bit more festive. Let's see if I'll do. Oh, good. It's gonna stay. There we go. We need to get ready with me, Demi. I just posted. Um, I will. I will make that on here. But I just um, uploaded the last live. It's almost four hours long, but the first two hours, uh, I do my makeup on YouTube Mermaid Live. Mermaid lives. Leah, you're so sweet. Your energy makes me happy when skies are gray. You guys are like poets in here. That's, thank you. I look like Christmas. Thank you. Yeah, I was really in, in the mood for some red. Red today. I hope everyone is having a beautiful Friday and that it only gets better and better from this point on and that your weekend unfolds in the most magical way. I did, by the way, finally find a, a rooftop parking lot that I think I can do car live streams from, so we might explore that this weekend. Because it's cool enough and it seems like a safe, quiet place. So, um, oh, thank you, Marcel. This dress is from. and I think it made kind of a cool fast ASMR. You know, I don't usually do the fast ASMR, but um, I kind of like the sounds in the sped up version of me doing my hair, so got to remember to post that. Thanks, Bree. 
in my outside right now. Does it look real? I think Sally. No, we are inside, inside, inside. Um, that's the tapestry, but like I said, it always seems to, every day it seems to come more and more to life. So I'm not surprised. details. Oh, they look, I really like them in this light. Wow, I feel like this light was the best for them, surprisingly. Um, they're meant to be mermaid, like mermaid seashells. See, they have these, these kind of wave details and nails. I got them done at a salon, but they were inspired by, um, by at-home nails, the press-on nails that I found on Pinterest. So if you go on Pinterest and you type in mermaid nails, this will be one of the first ones that pop up, and I think they have them on Amazon. I'm good. How are you doing today? Oh, thank you, cowboy. Um, oh, these rings are, are a lot of my stuff is from like vintage boutiques and random things that I find. These lives and our conversations, our energy exchange here has really, really healed my soul and gotten me just reconnected, reconnected with the things that I really enjoy doing. So I'm really, really happy that we have this space. So look out for the new YouTube video. Not up yet, though. Um, does my 
recent video on YouTube show my eye trick for that shadow? I think so. Uh, you mean the bronzer and all of that? Um, I, I think it does. But I, I will get it together and make, uh, work on making a TikTok video as well. Just, I guess I'm not as confident in the makeup tutorials because I don't really know the process of filming it. Um, but it's probably time to learn. Oh, thank you, Lele. Love your name. Um, mm-hmm. when you saw me. What a great way to end the week. Yes, let's get ready for the weekend together. I'm going to do some energy clearing. Um, just remove any anything from the week so we can have the most restful, relaxing weekend. Let's see. Oh, thank you, Ashton. Made the music a little quieter and the mic a little louder. Hello. Where's my mermaid ring? Um, I only wear it when I wear silver. I don't know. I, I don't really like to mix silver and gold. I always wear one or the other. So I guess I need a gold mermaid ring. So I can always have a mermaid ring on. suitable today. He's very picky about fabrics, so hopefully this one passes his strict guidelines. Come here. Come here. Love you too. Oh, thank you. Hi, baby. Do you want to come up here? vintage boutique in Burbank um, but I think the tag I don't know if it's actually vintage or not a lot of those boutiques they sell things that, that are that vintage but they're not 
necessarily. I think the tag said Odile. O-D-I-L-L-E. I'm not sure. I've never heard of that brand, but that's where it's from. Would Mittens let me appear on his channel as a guest? I don't know. That's a really good question. I'd like to think so, but you never know. Evelina, love your name. This little nail close up for you. See, a lot of the diamonds have come off. But I think, I, I still think they look cool. But I'm gonna be honest, I really miss the just smooth texture nails. I miss, I saw like an old uh, clip of mine. I was working on my computer and I saw some baby pink pastel nails and I really missed them. So I think I might do that next time. Can I say something relaxing uh, in Russian? Да, конечно. Um, добро пожаловать. you look like what would happen if a hurricane destroyed your wardrobe. Oh, that's very elaborate. What's going on in the chat? Is everybody feeling a little crazy? stuff. I tap stuff all the time. What do you mean? I love to mix in tapping. Um, I realized how much I love tapping on things when I was trying to film with my phone and hold the mic yesterday and I couldn't tap on things and I really noticed how much I actually tap on things. Well, I'm gonna fall asleep in your stream. I love ASMR. How are you doing? Like a different font. That looks so cool. And yes, I hope you fall asleep. Sleep, 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 sleep. Very soon. Um, I know it looks like a mood ring, right? But it's actually Surprisingly, it's not. But it looks more like a mood ring than my actual mood ring. Thank you, Rexy. Would I consider tapping the camera as a trigger? Yeah, that's one of my favorite triggers that people do. Da, 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 da. A lot of people in a tapping mood today, huh? i 
Princess Sonia. You mean the panther, the black panther? She's somewhere in another room, sleeping, sleeping, sleeping. Astral projecting her consciousness somewhere. Okay, sure, Gigi, let's do some relaxing hand movements. Let's do a bit of gentle hand movements as you begin to relax, relax, relax. Mermaid living in the forest? Yes. creatures in the forest is a mermaid sitting on a tree branch. So that was, used to be my favorite poem as a child. I think that's why I gravitated toward the forest and the mermaid. Спасибо, Мел, привет. Я я рассказываю про поэму Пушкина. Я забыла, как называется, но которая у Лука моря туп зеленый сладает цепь на дубито и день и ночь и год ученый все ходит по кругу по цепи кругом идет направо песнь заводит налево сказку говорит там чудеса там леший бродит русалка на ветвях сидит like me to put you to sleep. I'll take ten minutes with my ASMR. Good. Good. I'm happy to hear that. That's what I'm here for. We're one big happy family, so the vibes here are immaculate. Yes. We have the best, best vibes, the best people here. I am so, so freaking grateful for you guys. You have no idea. You've you've really, like, healed a part of myself and just reconnected me with my vision and feeling excited about making videos again. Как называется поэма? Я я не знаю. Я я забыла. Он начинается Лука море туп зеленый. Может быть, она называется Лука море, но я думаю. Name of the poem. It's by Alexander Pushkin. If I'm saying that right in English, um, but I don't remember the title. You should do a video on astral projection. Um, yes, I have. You know, you guys, I and I will. You guys have made me realize that I, I need to make multiple videos on the same topics because I don't know why I was stuck for years in this weird idea that, oh, if I've already done a, a video on something, I can never do it again, which is insane. I don't know why I got that in my head, um, but yeah, you've helped me realize how silly that is. Can I do French a little bit? Um, je peux parler un peu français. Je ne peux pas parler vraiment bien. I don't think that's 
a stretch. I feel like, you know, something energetically pulls me here and pulls you here. So, because we're all connected in one ocean or one energetic grid to each other. So that's not surprising at all. Серьезно? Ивелина, как я такое забыла? Это отрывок из поэмы Русланы Людмила. По-моему, о, как, как я любила этот фильм. Когда я была маленькая, я его видела на телевизоре. Руслана Людмила. Я совсем забыла, что это поэма. dream, Ari, it is when you are consciously aware that you are dreaming without waking up and you're able to control the narrative of the dream and fly and, you know, do whatever you want. That's what lucid dreaming is. Okay, oh, thank you, countdown. Pat. Thanks for the reminder. Um, 
the show and they were talking about was Stranger Things that that's set in the 80s. Hello fellow 80s baby. There's a song I like, I can't remember the artist, but the, the song goes, I was born in the 80s, the 80s. And every time I hear it, it gets so stuck in my head. obviously like some kind of subconscious blocks but I would like kind of float horizontal and I would only be like a foot off of the ground and I couldn't fly up for a very long time it took practice yeah I'm a lot better at controlling it now shifting realities absolutely I do it all the time and I, I really think if you guys are familiar with Mandela effects I, I really think they used to freak me out my ideal beverage a yummy mocktail with all kinds of relaxing supplements in it thank you David okay let's go ahead and do a multilingual countdown
suffering with anxiety, that's one thing to look at. Are there things that you are holding back that you don't want, don't feel like other people should know or see about you? And that, I feel like that could be a big cause of anxiety and stress for many people. So, for any services, like greetings or not, but thanks Katie. Um, um, I, 
but I would like to, I, I don't want to pressure myself, but I would like to continue showing up every day and naturally see how things unfold. Um, I am not interested in being an influencer. isn't like authentic to me personally so I've been trying to find find my path and I've always wanted to you know create things for people to help them sleep whether it's physical products digital products like Melissa, things like that but I, I feel like that's gonna naturally unfold if I just stay connected to to a sense of purpose and connection with with you guys and what we're doing here. So at the moment I don't, but that could change. Not so much the readings, but um, other things. Is the forest behind me real? Um, it's getting more real every day, every single day. Oh, no, Kaylee, I did not brace this. I have bio live. It's on my Mermaid Lives YouTube channel. How am I going to detail about all of that stuff? You'd pay just to hang out with mittens all day. Yes, I have two YouTube channels, Mermaid Lives and Mermaid Whispers. I know the hair's bothering me too. Something's sticking out. It's because I'm... I tried to... Because um, it usually goes to, toward that side. But I was trying to like train it to go on this side of my face. But it's fighting back. Is it night or day? It's afternoon for me. Afternoon time. Mm -hmm. Hey, buddy. Okay, hold on. We'll lower the volume while my dog is readjusting. Breed is my dog. He's an Australian Shepherd. Australian Shepherd. Okay, I wrote down a couple notes of things that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, that I heard. First of all, there's an affirmation that I really wanted to to do. That's been helping me a lot, and it's something I heard from Bashar, who I was really resistant to listening to for a while. Was Abraham Hicks. I don't know why, but in the past I had resistance to listening to people who were channeling something. I just, I didn't believe in that and I felt it was weird. But over time, I've like gotten past that and, and I mean, I, I do weird things myself. So, and I started really hearing the message and the helpful things and it's really changed me. So, one thing these affirmations from Bashar to say three times at night I think are really helpful and they are very simple I am who I am and that is enough I am who I am and that is enough I am who I am and that is enough so 
So tonight, try to remember to say that three times before you fall asleep. Manifesting works, of course. I think we are all the time. At every moment we are manifesting, whether we are consciously aware of it or not. It's just better to take the reins and be in the driver's seat. Otherwise, you're manifesting unconsciously and you might be manifesting things that you don't want by accident. So... Mrs. Gloss roleplay next. Um, I was checking out some really cool studios for that uh, as well. So I think that's going to be the next the next roleplay for next week. Stop touching the mic, please. No. <laughs> I feel a touch sassy today. Don't try me. Um, is Cool World something you watch? I haven't seen it in a long time, but I think. What else did I want to say? 
Oh, okay, another thing I heard that I wanted to share, I saw this TikTok that said, um, there's scientific research that showed that pleasing aesthetics, like having beautiful aesthetics, like flowers next to your bed, or beautiful colors, beautiful scenery, is actually has very positive effects on the brain because it sends a signal to your brain that you are safe and everything is okay and it takes you out of any kind of survival fight or flight because your brain perceives it as if you if you are paying attention to beautiful scenery beautiful objects beautiful things that sends a signal to your brain that you are not in danger, you are safe, and you're able to focus on that. So it has a very calming effect. I mean, I've always known that intuitively, or I felt that intuitively, but it was interesting to see the, um, apparently, uh, research backing that up. Lots of people getting into the Christmas spirit. Yeah, well once we start doing the energy clearing, that's going to activate the motorcycles most likely to come in. It's 
скажи что-нибудь по-русски. Я говорю про такую поэму, такую историю, про дерево, я не знаю, как такой фрукт называется, но это дерево с фруктами, и женщина сидит около дерева. И она так любуется этими фруктами, но она не может решить, не может никак решить, какой из них выбрать. another example, Alex, that there's too many TV shows and you end up overwhelmed and choose nothing. I know, I think a lot of people spend more time scrolling through Netflix or Hulu um, and rather than just watching a show. It's kind of overwhelming how much stuff is out there, you know? I think a lot of people, myself included, have a longing for, I don't know, a simplified way of life sometimes. And I was thinking this morning how grateful I am that I've, that I got to experience a world before cell phones, before the internet, all of that. And it really was such, such a different world, such a different time. And I'm so grateful for all of the, the gifts of technology. But, oh, Dean, I think the, the sticker you sent brought Sonia over. Hey, girlfriend. Miss ma'am? and con oh thank you <laughs> that was weird it like glitched um, let's put a little crown on Sonia yeah Sonia so yeah pro 
pros and cons to everything and even though I'm so grateful for us being able to be connected, being able to do all these cool things, I do sometimes feel very nostalgic for, for a time when, okay, Miss Ma'am, Miss Ma'am, please, I beg of you, I have the light you want in everything I put the red light She is just obsessed with diving into the phone. Your Jenna got way more time than uh, to experience that kind of freedom, and it was really like a different world, like a completely different realm of reality. Is my cat a what? She is back. Um, yeah, she's a little sweetheart. I'm gonna go check it out. Okay, go and investigate. Her name is Sonia. 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 Мне нравится, что ее зовут Соня. Почти это мне напоминает Соня, как Соня засыпает. Сон, сон, Соня. Her name in Russian makes me think of falling asleep because son means dream. Sonia is like of a dream. Um, She's, she turned one on Halloween, so just one. It's a cardigan Welsh corgi. Oh, interesting. Okay. What's that? A lot of people in the chat today.
Я засыпаю, спасибо тебе за эфир, ты лучшая. О, спасибо, я рада, что вы здесь со мной. Спасибо. questions being ignored or if it hasn't been seen. I saw that, but there's a lot of things I missed and it's going a little too fast for me to keep up. Um, on my channel Mermaid Lives, I posted my whole makeup routine and all the products. Um, on there, the blushes. <laughs> I know, Jay, it took me a while to said people acting like their comments should be read out every time or else you're being rude. So that used to give me a lot of anxiety and I would feel so bad and it would make me like shut down because I would feel like I have to answer every single comment, I have to read everything and, and at a point it became like not possible physically to do that and it made me like shut down like oh well I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings so I just won't do anything but that's that's so silly you know and now I'm a lot more balanced and I understand and I'm a lot kinder to myself and I understand it's okay I'm not able to see everything and that's just the nature of um, but some people don't understand that. There we go. Mm I go, you don't know how I go live, um, I go into this, this different state of consciousness when I'm on live. I feel more connected to my higher self and I go into, I don't know how to explain it, I intuitively go into this place of calm and peace. I wouldn't say I'm like this all the time, you know? I have difficulty. When I come on here, I don't know, it's like I tune in to, to deeper parts of myself that I'm not always accessing. And that's one of my favorite things about it. Everything's gonna be okay. You are who you are. You are who you are, and that is enough. I 
I blocked you and you didn't do anything, so you made another account to come here. If I block someone, it's because the vibes did not match. I've become very intuitive and connected with feeling people's energies um, and I just am so much faster and quicker in feeling intention behind things whether they seem trivial or not but I'm really, I feel like I've gotten really good at feeling vibes and intentions from people and so if the vibe doesn't match you know, our positive energy here. That doesn't mean you can't be in a dark feeling place when you come here. Not at all. You should be able to come here in any state, but if you're actively trying to, you know, damper our positive vibes here, then obviously I'm going to remove that and protect our enchanted land. So... You are who you are. You are who you are, and that is enough. That is our primary affirmation for today. You are who you are, and that is enough. You couldn't hear the brushes on the mic? Oh. I feel like I've, yeah, I've gotten really good at feeling intentions and I don't block everyone that says something negative if I feel like they're hurting and they, they uh, deep down need the healing of the space. Um, so I just kind of trust my intuition now. There you go. Girly, where, what are you doing, girlfriend? Hey, what's going on? Okay, all right, let's, let's keep it mellow, keep it mellow and quiet. Okay, all right. Thank you. Thank you, Sonia. Oh, thank you, Rachel. Thank you. I really loved filming in the studio. It was, it was an art gallery. I did a little behind the scenes video here on my page. two people to move it and I was by myself and I didn't want to break anything because it's a $4,500 charge there if you damage anything and I was not about to, to damage anything. Not that I obviously wouldn't damage anything if there wasn't a charge but you know them saying that made me extra extra cautious so her name is spelled with a Miss Miam, no, 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 let's not do that, no. 
Oops, hold on. Sonia? No. Over here, I have this little container of, of different props and she was messing with it. to be like a hairpin with a moon on it. But I, I don't know how to use it. So we're gonna use it here for a little bit. What's that? You watched Rachel Ria as a child. That's kind of why I get lost in my own. I'm very like introverted. I get really lost in my own, my own head and my own world and my own fantasies. Um, sometimes to a detriment. Sometimes it's great, inspiring, but sometimes it can be a bit overboard. Can I do a would you rather please? What does that mean? Is that a game? I'm intrigued. What does that mean? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Maybe that's what it is. That I, I should clip my hair uh, first with something else and then add that in. I was trying to use this and I, I couldn't figure out how to get this to hold my hair in place but maybe I should try hair tie things she's in a destructive mood today 
she's she's ready to party hard for the weekend. She's trying to rip my dress, rip the chair, rip the tapestry. Yeah, Sonia, very sassy mood today. Sonia, what do you mean? Sonia's the star of the show. Okay. Which deck should we do today? one. Thank you, Rebecca. Yeah, I haven't worn this dress in so long. I got it over the summer and then I forgot that I had it. Okay. Oh. Okay. Now, sometimes cards might jump out at you, so I feel like this one's jumping out. This one's jumping out, and then let's find one more. Good, how are you? Oops, okay. 
Okay, so we're gonna find one more in here. Yeah, so sometimes when a card like flies out or, you know, falls or something, it's important to see it. So, is this... I don't know why they're stuck together, that's weird. Чувствуем, что мы в каком-то темном месте, и а, как, как метафора в темное место, как а, плохие чувства, а, то 
помнить, что этот свет, он все равно существует в нас, он всегда там, он никогда не уходит. И не забывать его, потому что иногда мы, мы можем забыть, когда мы в каком-то темном периоде нашей жизни. Я говорю это очень, я очень понимаю это. И этот свет не бояться показывать внутренний свет и что он как магнит к другим людям притягивает притягивает правильных людей к нам so it's kind of a rough translation of that okay is love card number two yes we're gonna read that one right now Love Mermaid, the beautiful artwork of the next page. to be fully loved by others. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. This mermaid is bathing in the bliss of unconditional love. She loves herself, which means she's able to fully be loved by others. Do you guys remember, like, in some lives, people, like, trolls would come on and they would try to berate me for loving myself and be like, oh, it's disgusting how much she loves herself. That as though that's not what we're all supposed to be doing. Thank you, Dean. That we are. That's the way to hate. That light is by loving ourselves. And I, I feel like we're not able to fully love others. And I speak from experience. We're not able to wholly, fully, unconditionally love others if we do not have that love for ourselves. And. I feel like I've worked so much on self-love and self-acceptance and it's made me more connected to people, more just because loving yourself kind of overflows into love of others, of animals, of the world, of life, you know? And if you have like all this animosity toward yourself, which I've been there, or criticism of yourself, then Even if you try to love others but not love yourself, it's it's unsustainable and it's gonna like things will fall through the cracks and you're not really able to fully love others deeply until you're fully loving yourself. Like I've I've really learned that in a profound way in my own life. Thank you, Sophia. Okay, let's see what else it says. Um When you know your true value, you um, and embrace the fact that you are love and lovable. You are love and lovable. You'll attract perfect loving relationships. I mean, look, I feel like I, I am proof of that the more that I've started loving and accepting myself as I am and feeling like enough as as I am as a person and accepting I'm not for everybody the more deeply I'm able to connect with with you with the people that are you know on the same wavelength and I think before I spent way too much time trying to be likable to to everybody and not that I was <laughs> 
wasn't, but I think a lot of it was subconsciously coming from trying to please everyone, and that that's just so unsustainable and painful inside yourself. So this is so inspiring, you guys. Um, love is the fragrance of enlightened spiritual people. I like the sound of that. Love is the fragrance of It can be felt in their aura and is the residue of their presence. This is pure, pure, unconditional love. So, I think these messages definitely, as always, tie, tie into each other, the light and the love. The, I think, part of allowing, feeling safe enough to let your light shine comes from loving and accepting yourself more. And then you feel more able to shine the light of your authenticity, of your truth to other people. And I think I really struggled with that before, that I had so much criticism and negativity toward myself prevented me from fully being able to shine my light and open up and kind of share all sorts of different parts of myself. And I can't tell you how freeing, freeing it is to do that. Sorry. Okay. Привет. Ой, эта карта вторая говорила, um, про любовь, что любовь к самому себе это самое, самое главное, и что невозможно полностью любить других, если вы себя глубоко не любите. Я говорила, у меня было много а, негатива к самой себе, много критизм, а, много чего, что мне не нравилось про меня, и и поэтому я не могла полностью как бы открыто показывать а, себя, свой свет и, и чувствовать такую глубокую, глубокую любовь с другими людьми. Так что эта карта напоминает нам это. serious about Spanish. What's that? Gizzy says, hello, I'm wanting to start ASMR. How did you get started? Well, step one is You gotta figure out your why first, and that's gonna guide you. And I was, I got disconnected from my why of doing this for a while and distracted by other things. But if you really, really love this, you love connecting with people in this way, you love like relaxation, you love ASMR, then just start putting content out there. Um, that's what I'm gonna do now. I feel so liberated from not having to think about or worry about analytics or views. Like, I genuinely, it doesn't, like, I want to put things out and I, you know, I would love to share that with you guys, but if no one watches, then I still want to feel, like, proud of myself that I, I did this, I created this, and if it doesn't resonate with people, that's okay, as long as I feel like I'm expressing, you know, parts of myself. I'm doing something creative. That's enough for me. And so if you're coming from that kind of place, uh, I think that's going to be amazing and it's going to be really fulfilling for you. But if 
if you're coming from a place of like, oh, I want to do something, you know, that people are going to like or something that's going to be popular, then, then I, I can't help you with that. There's other people that can help you with that, but I'm not knowledgeable about marketing or like graphics or doing things in like the correct professional way, obviously, like I'm just winging it and I'm just following my feelings and I'm sure I'm making a million mistakes. But I feel happy, you know, I feel like inspired and fulfilled. So if you want to make ASMR from that place of something inside of you, then I, I suggest doing that. If you want to do it like as a business or a job, I'm not the person to ask because I, I don't know what I'm doing in terms of that. That's my advice to you. You'd be doing it for you. That's, that's, that, then, then do it. Then don't hold back. Then do it. Do it now. Do it now. Do it now. Do it now. Just do it. You and me both. Just do it. Just post. Post, post, post. on how to speak to girls respectfully respectfully and putting yourself in their shoes because you know that saying um, it's a saying that like men's biggest fear is in terms of like uh, dating stuff men's biggest fear is uh, a woman laughing at them and women's biggest fear is a man unaliving them. So the stakes are very different. So keep that in mind and just make sure if, if you're talking to girls, women, um, that, that you make them feel safe. That you make them feel like you're not threatening, you're not um, making them uncomfortable, you're not like you know, cornering them somewhere and forcing them to be nice to you uh, out of fear. Just make them feel safe and feel comfortable. Um, I think that's a big difference. thinking about doing ASMR. I love it. Do it. I, I would love for you to do that because I was watching ASMR for a long time and I, I was so glad that I became kind of part, part of it and did my own spin on it. I think the motorcycles are reminding us it's time to do an energy clearing. Exactly. Very simple. Just be nice and respectful and just keep in mind women like to feel safe and comfortable. Um, like, yeah. Don't, don't approach women how you would want them to approach you. Approach them like they're cats that you don't want to spook and scare away. Cherry earrings. My TikTok shop. They are cherries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly, Heidi. We want to feel safe with someone, and that's very underrated how important and comforting it is to just. And then that just relaxes you to open up and connect in deeper ways to someone. Sense of anarchy outside. Uh, yeah, definitely. 
sounds that way. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, but does the time fly by? I feel like that should have been the title of today's live is You Are Who You Are And that is enough Enough, 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 enough We gotta remind ourselves of that every single day And remember we're not for everybody That's okay Oh, another video I saw Along these lines um, Was a reminder that have you ever, have you guys, I used to have this feeling all the time I, I don't really anymore Now I like know what to do with it But it's this feeling of, you know, when you're around people You know, maybe people you just met And, and then you leave that interaction And you critique yourself and you think Oh, I was too much I, I, I should have toned it down They probably thought it was weird I shouldn't have like shared all of that. I shouldn't have um, thanks, Andy. I shouldn't have like opened up about that. I shouldn't have talked so much or or something like that. Like you analyze the situation back. Has anyone ever done that? That you like think back on your encounters and you think, oh, I, I really should have been more cool about this. I shouldn't have like I was kind of over the top about that. I used to do that all the time. And Basically, this video reminded that when that happens, that's just your guidance system letting you know that those people are not meant for you. Not that they're bad people or anything like that. It's just not a vibrational match. And you should never, like, tone yourself down or water yourself down to be more palatable, more palatable to people. You should be your full brightest version of yourself and understand that there's going to be many people that don't resonate with that but those people they're not for you whether it's like friends or dating or whatever if you feel like you have to tone yourself down and play it cool and kind of be mysterious or i don't know like play these kind of games it's because you're trying to like make it work with people that aren't meant for you that are not part of your vibrational tribe it took me a really long time to understand that but family can be toxic too unfortunately well i'm i'm a big believer that we choose our families you know and just because someone's biologically related to you doesn't mean they have to stay in your life or be doesn't mean that they are part of your soul tribe necessarily. I really am a big believer in choosing 
choosing our family and you know, being ourselves without adjusting to other people, just fully being ourselves, shining our light so that our people that are meant for us can find us. Because if you're watering yourself down, you're toning yourself down, you're playing it cool, then your people have a harder time finding you and as well. And you are, you know, kind of spending time with people that they're not aligned with you and you're missing out. You're missing out on the magical experiences with the people that are. So remember that next time, if you feel this, because I used to feel this so much, oh my god, that you kind of edit yourself and you think, oh, I was too much. No, you just were not a vibrational match. So just keep it moving uh, without changing. I don't know, I could be wrong, but I think maybe it's more prevalent for for women. Again, maybe I'm wrong, because that's just my experience, but that, you know, it's more common for women to uh, want to make sure everyone's comfortable, not make anyone uneasy, not, you know, whatever, to, like, accommodate people more. I feel like um, a lot of times women are more socialized and brought up that way in my experience and observation of the world and and yeah and that leads to constantly it's like in the Barbie movie you know if anyone saw the Barbie movie in the monologue of America Ferreira's character she says something like that it's exhausting to tie yourself into knots to constantly be tying yourself into knots to accommodate other people you know Going off on flying off on tangents again. I need to write a life advice book. I always have such positive, helpful ways of thinking. Oh, thank you. I I feel like I'm definitely gonna write a book at some point. It just hasn't. I know that's part of my life's path is to to be an author. I just, I don't know, I guess I, I haven't been ready for that, but I've always known that's part of my life's journey. So thank you for saying that. I mean, I think both men and women can experience this, but I've noticed it's more prevalent for women to be accommodating to others. You don't know how to stop being that way, Katrina. It's it's hard. I know. I, I feel like I'm 37 and I feel like just in the last year I've begun to you know, become that way, and it's still like a struggle sometimes, but yeah, it, it can take time, it can take experiences to, to start kind of getting to know yourself and, and not uh, falling into accommodating other people. ever said that to me, that we, I, I didn't understand this, um, he said we can choose our families, we can have, even as adults, we can have substitute uh, figures, like um, 
like a mother or father figure, we can find that type of relationship with people not related to us. We can have like this energetic connection with someone like her or someone we look up to. And just one of my favorite qu quotes that people always mis misuse. Um, people say this backwards. They say blood is thicker than water. But they, they don't words. They say blood is thicker than water. But they, they don't. They say it like family is more important than anything. But that's not the quote. The quote is actually, the blood of the covenant is thicker than the water of the womb. And what it means is the people you choose to have life experiences with, your friends, you know, people that come into your life that are your sole family. That's a deeper bond. That can be a deeper bond than people that are biologically related to you. It can be both. If you're lucky, it can be both. Hi, Alexis. Thank you for the galaxy, babe. It can be both. Um, but it doesn't have to be. And we can choose our own, you know, soul family in this life. So, I mean, if you're adult, if you're a child, I, can, I guess you, you have to kind of power through. But um, as an adult, we can... Oh, oops. Oh my gosh, I just realized the light was way up. I didn't know. Okay, that's better. So if people make you uncomfortable, whether they're your family or whatever, you can just begin to remove yourself energetically. You know, it doesn't have to be dramatic. It doesn't have to be like a fight. You could just start pulling, pulling your energy back from anyone that makes you uncomfortable, whether they're related to you or not. Anyone that makes you feel not great about yourself, just start pulling, pulling your energy back. Yeah, it's, I think a lot of people like get stuck in life. I see so many people suffer because of these feelings of obligation toward toxic like people in their life just because they are blood related and and maybe not and not necessarily if they're toxic, maybe you're not a vibrational match. Maybe they're not bad people. Maybe you're both good, wonderful people. But your energies just clash and it's not a good match. And I wish more people would give themselves permission to retract their energy. But so many people have these obligations um, inside themselves and they just perpetuate suffering for years and years and decades sometimes. And I just think that's not needed. And we gotta free ourselves from that. Yes, wait, exactly. Go with the flow. If something's meant to be, it happens naturally. Exactly. Not trying to force things. Same with like dating. If you're constantly stressed out about your partner, this, like paranoid, I feel like that's not, not worth it, you know? And that means it's not a energetic match with that person. Same with friends, acquaintances, like, you know, any, any type of people across your life. It's hard and a guilt feeling as well. Jesse. Guilt is like feelings of guilt, shame, all of that. I feel like these are these are taught behaviors um, 
that people are socialized into and they they serve to keep us like imprisoned in situations that we don't want to be in you have to release that you have to let that go and feel free from that you know it's easier said than done but it's just something i've observed about life no i'm sorry i don't like spit painting what happened This is not a dating site. This is a or a dating page. This is this is ASMR. This is relaxation. This is exploring the dream realm. <laughs> Sonia. This is exploring the dream realm, exploring spirituality, um, connecting with animals, with positive energy. Hey. No. What time is it? had an extra big breakfast so he's more chill today um, oh my gosh shoot forgot I need to pick up food for him okay I love you too Sonia's looking for a date <laughs> Sonia, are you looking for a date? She rolled, she like rolled her eyes at me. <laughs> so I don't think so. No. <sighs> Sonia, she's not really a big meower. That's usually mittens. Okay, let's do X marks the spot. Girlfriend, does not like you, babe. Okay, shh, Sonia. We're gonna do X marks the spot, okay? Is that okay with you, Sonia? <sighs> Miss ma'am. Please. Why does she hate my lighting setup? I feel like I set it up how she wanted with the red light and everything and it's it's still not to her liking she's so particular 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 do i have uh the fish tank i i have a different fish tank now it's it's not the same one um it's a smaller one now mm -hmm, mm -hmm, but really interact with it much because I don't know I don't want to get too attached to, to them I got way too attached to some of the guppy fish before and then they inevitably passed on and it was very hard so now I don't know I'm like afraid to get too attached to to them I mean I still love them and care about them Try not to get too personal, like naming them and stuff like that. Because it just, it hurts too much. Okay, X marks the spot. Um, thanks, Johnny. Or 
Пойдешь? Давайте я причешу. Так, причешемся? Нет? Ну ладно. Не хочешь, не надо. Не хочешь, не надо. Usually it's mittens meowing. Sonia. Oh, she's starting drama. She's trying to start pick a fight. Pick a fight with mittens. <gasps> yes, mittens, I'm talking about you. He's he's staring at us right now. Alright, I feel like he's he might start meowing, so I should probably wrap wrap this up for today. Oops. Oh. Mittens throwing hands. He will if he has to. They they were kind of fighting. They had uh, two big brawls today, the cats. But then three minutes later, they were curled up sleeping next to each other. So I guess they worked it out. Sonia. She want me to pick her up? No. She wants me to drop everything and feed her. What does Gambit do when the cats fight? He's the referee. Like, if he's awake, he runs and he, he always breaks up their fights if he hears it. But usually he's harder on mittens. He's very sweet to Sonia. He's never growled at her. Maybe it's like a she's a girl and Mittens is a boy, I don't know what it is, but he's very like, I don't know, he growls at Mittens sometimes, he's, but they get along well mostly. Are they siblings? Yeah, I mean not biologically, but they definitely have like sibling behavior where they fight and they scuffle and then they are friends again, that's what I imagine siblings would be like. I don't know, but it's how I imagine it. Okay guys, what do we want to see or hear before we wrap it up for today? No, Mittens is five years older than her. Yeah. So, so we, I had him for, for a while before Sonya came in the picture. Get her a toy. She has so many toys. They're everywhere. Like, she's got an absurd amount of toys. That's not gonna cut it. Wood tapping? Oh my god. Let me write that down. Um, wooden makeup. Because I love that some of my favorite uh, ASMR videos where they do makeup sets, I guess, for children, where everything is like a powder and all that, and it's all made from wood that makes these cool sounds. I remind you of a character from Vampire Diaries. I hope it's Damon. That was my favorite character. Hello. I loved Vampire Diaries. Morgan Fairchild 
Ed's daughter. Do you know that I, I've always been so obsessed with her. I think she's so gorgeous. And I just saw her pop up. I kind of forgot about her. I, I really, like, loved seeing her and things when I was a child. You, um, I think she's so freaking pretty. And I saw her and I think Nicolette Sheridan, some other ladies, have some kind of, I think, holiday lifetime movie. I saw an ad for it and I was like, oh my god, Morgan Fairchild. I, so thank you. Okay, we gotta remember that the main positive affirmations are What's the main affirmation for today? I am who I am and that is enough You are who you are and that is enough I am who I am and that is enough Remember to say that three times. Maybe I should make a video of that. Um, but yeah, remember to say that three times. But I am who I am, and that is enough. I am who I am, and that is enough. I am who I am, and that is enough. Sometimes I forget too that we are not our bodies. That's not, you know, real. What's real? What we are is the the conscious observer that is watching all this from a neutral place. We are not our emotions. We are not our thoughts. We're certainly not our bodies. We are the conscious observer, the player of this game, the dreamer, whatever you want to think of it. So I mean, I have to remind myself of that every day, but I think that's very true. Hey, no, don't be threatening the lights. Hey, hey, don't you swat at me. She's getting violent. Girl, she's biting and swatting me. And she does not hold back like mittens. She, she does it for real. for here, for YouTube. I'm going to upload this live, this live tonight, tonight on Mermaid Lives. And then there's two new videos coming to Mermaid Whispers YouTube. And I have at least two TikToks I already did for here. See, I'm starting to, you guys are inspiring me, I'm starting to pick up momentum and actually start making content. So, Thank you for sharing in this beautiful space with me. Cat mutiny. Yes, before the cat mutiny breaks out. We gotta get going. Um, but I love you guys so much. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful night and day. I, I'll definitely be back tomorrow. I might even, um, I might even stream on Sunday. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how things go. But yeah, I love you so much and I'll
I'll see you here or on YouTube, um, wherever we meet, or in the astral realm somewhere. So, good night, sweet dreams.